so if a group attacks your local hospital perhaps a nearby residential area a school a church what will you think of that group think about it for a second well i have been reading some news articles lately and i found this curious phenomena that most of idf's targets have been hospitals refugee camps residential areas and schools not to mention mosques and churches the idf had laid siege to al amal hospital in khan yunus they laid siege to that hospital for days until they finally broke in and they locked the civilians in with themselves now reportedly they were abused beaten and humiliated by the idf and god knows what else what the idf have been doing is basically bombing civilian infrastructure in gaza and planting snipers in various locations shooting anything that moves and we are seeing their activity on social media posted by the palestinian victims as well as the idf soldiers jesting and dancing having a good time in gaza just recently they shot a nurse in nasser hospital during an operation they sniped him through his shoulder right through here and he collapsed they shot another man who was on the roof of that hospital barely surviving outside that very hospital the snipers idf snipers have been shooting anything that moves and they have already killed about 25 civilians in that region now that they're finishing up in han yunus rail has declared their next destination to be rafa already they have bombed near the refugee camps in rafa which has been labeled by the un as the largest refugee camp in the world and hell on earth quite a name wouldn't you agree it houses 1.9 million refugees which moved into rafa along with the local residents gaza's population was 2.1 million before the war half of them were children under the age of 18 and now all of them are living in overcrowded conditions in rafa tents and streets by this point now 28000 civilians have been killed a third of them in estimation are children the numbers might be higher these weren't just numbers these were people with dreams aspirations and families now all of them murdered in cold blood all the while israeli civilians 60% of them still believe that the idf are not punishing the gazans enough they actually took up the fight themselves and went to the border and are blocking eight trucks from entering gaza those last few eight trucks that unrwa could muster after it has been defunded by the west many of you might be asking where is hamas where do they stand the hamas leaders have called for a truce a permanent peaceful cease fire they are making negotiations with israel in paris under the watchful eye of qatar they have proposed a three step process in which first israel will release the hostages it took it kidnapped from palestine in return for female prisoners that hamas took the second step that israel will allow humanitarian relief efforts humanitarian aid to enter into gaza and rebuild gaza that it has destroyed in exchange for more prisoners and then finally have demanded for israel to release its soldiers in return for the idf soldiers themselves now israel is always afraid of the palestinian peace offensive according to norman finkelstein and by that force of habit they are has they are hesitant to accept hamas's peace offering and i can sense the frustration of the families of those israeli prisoners there was this news article that i was reading that israel actually went ahead and accused those families of of those prisoners that they are hamas ludicrous i know it's a wonder why the government of israel is facing such pressure they actually prefer living with palestinians than letting netanyahu to be in office for another day and it's because they have seen israel's absolute callousness to its own prisoners as if it wasn't enough that they shot their own prisoners knifed them dead who were literally waving sos in hebrew on a white flag and were completely naked but that they have completely jeopardized the present in gaza by bombing the hell out of that place
and are now resisting making a peace deal with Hamas. The Palestinians have no place to go now from Rafa as Gaza has been under literal blockade for 20 years now and any aid they were receiving is just not possible given that the West defunded the largest relief effort in that region. Rafa is now operating on people's donation but will it really be enough to give aid to those 1.9 million people living and now about to be bombed Rafa? Would it matter? For a quick update, your your boycotts have been working tremendously. Businesses who support Israel are going bankrupt and are getting desperate, making statements distancing themselves from Israel. The protests around the globe are also putting pressure on the world governments. As you can see now, US officials are now warning Israel that they cannot support their ground operation in Rafah. Despite the horror show, may the Palestinians be patient for allies with the patient.